Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen the events listeners and we have created this counter and on click these buttons, we increment and decrement the counter. We have implemented this by using this expression here on the click event. Now in this video, we will achieve this goal using methods. So here in this view instance, we add a methods object to register new methods and here I will create increment method. Here I am using ES2015 syntax. This will work in the modern browsers. For the older browser, you will need to use tools like Babel. We will see this in Webpack. Otherwise, you can define methods like this. Function name and this is equal to handler closure function. This way is equivalent to this one. I like to use this new way because for me it is very clean. Now in this method I will say this dot counter plus equal to 1. Here I want you to note this counter refers to this counter value of data property. And here you don't have to use this keyword to print the counter value. Here everything is proxied to data property correctly. So in method you always have to use this to access data value. But here you don't need. On click this button we will call increment method. Here you can also call this increment method without parentheses. And we will see in the browser it works. But I always like to use to call methods with parentheses because it gives the clear indication that this increment is a method. And this also works exactly same. Similarly, we can create decrement method. This dot counter minus equal to 1. And here we call decrement method. browser refresh and it is working exactly the same on click plus button it is incrementing the counter and on click minus button it is decrementing the counter let's take a look at one more example let's get rid of this let's say in data property we have first name is equal to harish and last name is equal to Kumar. And here in H1 tag, I will print full name. The one way we can do first name plus and space plus last name. We know this will work, but here we will use method to print full name. So here we say get full name. Let's add this method here. And here I will return this dot first name plus space plus this dot last name. Let's go to the browser, refresh and the full name is printed. Now we know how methods work in view. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you soon in the next upcoming video. Mm -hmm.